Hello YouTube, today I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of the page layout menu in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to start here on the page setup section, it's probably what most folks want to see. So here we have the margins button, I can click here, I can access my last custom margins, I have access to these preset margins, or I can go in here and adjust my margins manually, like so. It gives me this little preview, how it's going to look, I can center things can access my print preview. There's how it's going to print right now. Uh, we're going to turn these off. I'm not going to try to show you everything. I'm just going to try to give you a real quick rundown. We'll see this page setup box again. Here we have orientation. We can flip back and forth between portrait and landscape like you could in any other office application. So if I go to my print preview, here we go. There's how it's going to print in portrait. Here, size, you can change your page size. Obviously, I have it set to 8.5 by 11, but if I wanted to change it to A4 or legal or tabloid, whatever, I could do that here. The print area here, this is going to let you to define what area you want to print. So you'll see now, if I go to my print preview, I've got my table here, which looks nice and pretty, but then I have this junk over here that I don't want to print. That's easy enough. That's what this print area does. So I can just select this area, go here to print area and say set print area. And now if I go to my print, there we go. you can see the junk is gone. You can clear the print area the same way. There we go. Breaks. If I want to do insert a page break, like in a Word document, I can do so there. I just select a cell. It'll insert a break above it. I can remove them the same way. On the subject of page breaks, you'll see when you start mucking around in here, Excel throws up these little breaks for you too. This shows me where the page break is horizontally. So everything on this side is one page. Everything on this side is another page, which you can see in our print preview. There's one page and there's the second page. If you wanted to put a background image, you could. So I'll go here. I'll do it from a file. I'll insert this burger. There we go. Now I have this picture of a burger as my background. It will not print. If you insert a background that way, it won't print for you. It'll only show on your screen. If you want something like that to print, you have to insert it as an object from the insert menu here. Otherwise, it's just uh, just for show. You can get rid of the background the same way. All right, print titles lets you print titles. So if I open this up, it opens our page setup box. We've seen this before. Here I can define a print area again. So let's limit it to just my table. If I want to repeat rows at the top when I'm printing, so if I have 500 rows and I want to make sure my header row repeats every time, I can do that here. I can do the same with columns if I want to repeat those. If my data is wide instead of long, I can turn on grid lines and off grid lines. We'll see more of that later. There's a ton of options here. You can also do headers and footers here. So a header is going to show up at the top of your page and the head of your page. Let's put a custom header here. You can see it's divided into three sections. So in the center section, I'll put the title. In the footer, just instead of doing a custom footer, I'll just select from this presets. And now let's do a print preview. There we go. There's my title. There's my page numbers. And that is it for page setup. Moving on to themes. So themes are pretty standard in Microsoft Office applications. You can see this table has one theme now. I can apply a different theme to it. Once I've got a theme, I can also apply a different color scheme to it here. I can change the font. In theory, you can apply effects to objects in Excel. Good luck finding objects that they actually apply to, but it's here, you can try it. Okay, scale to fit. Scale to fit deals with how many pages your worksheet is gonna print on. So right now, you can see if I go to the print preview, I'm going to have two pages. I've got two pages down here. There's first page. There's my second page. I could go and manually adjust things and try to get this all to fit on one page or I can just come here and tell it to fit all on one page. And now if I go to print preview, there you go. You can see it's all on one page. You can do the same thing for height or I can manually adjust the scale if I want to make the world's smallest spreadsheet. We can do that. Let's set it to 12% and go to print preview. 
And there's our little baby spreadsheet. Sheet options. Sheet options are pretty simple. I can turn off my grid lines. You can see here I've got my grid lines if I don't want to see them. I can turn them off or back on. I can turn them on for printing. There you go. You can see they are for printing. I can also turn my headings off and on. So here are my headings A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. I can turn them off. Now I don't see them anymore. Or I can turn them on for printing. Arrange. Arrange just deals with where objects are on the page. You can see I've got this chart and then I've got this image behind it. If I wanted to change that, I could just select the image, tell it to bring forward. I can send it backward again. The selection pane lets me quickly toggle between my objects. So now I've got my chart selected. Now I've got my graphic selected. The align theoretically allows you to help snap things into positions. You can snap to grid and either it'll move real fluidly like this or it'll snap to a grid like that, jumping across. And finally, you can rotate objects or flip them. That's it. That's the whole page layout tab. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hopefully you'll come back 